How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gianluca and I am a final year medical student studying in Canada and it has been way too long since I've been able to put together one of these day slash week in my life vlogs but the thing about being a final year medical student is that we have been incredibly busy lately. Now for the sake of this video that's actually a good thing because tomorrow I have an exam. Today we're going to be talking about me going into clerkship. I'm on pediatrics right now, my pediatrics block rotation. I'm on call today from 7 30 to 5 o'clock. Then we're also going to be talking about residency applications, the USMLE, the timeline for when I got to apply and interview. There's going to be a lot of some really useful information, hopefully for you guys, mixed in with this vlog. So today I was up at 4.30 in the morning to get to the gym nice and early and train legs. But even still, if I want to be at the hospital for 7.30, I really need to get a move on. I'm going to get changed, grab my stuff, and I'll see you guys at the hospital. But if you don't mind, go ahead, smash the like button on today's video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Now one thing that I think not a lot of people know about pediatrics is that there is a reason why that training program is four years long. And I think that the best way that you could really visualize the pediatric specialty in your head is that it is basically the internal medicine specialty for patients under the age of 17 break it down really quick and you'll see that in pediatrics there's basically hospital-based pediatrics and community-based pediatrics and when you are working in the hospital as a pediatrician you are the expert for any patient that walks into that hospital that is under the age of 17 years old in a day you are going to see all different kinds of presentations for your patients from really acute cases with newborn babies that need to be resuscitated with CPR all the way up to patients that present to the emergency department with really complex cases that could only really be understood fully by the pediatrician. So the thing with clerkship, and I gotta keep it totally real with you guys. We are now officially three years into medical school, which is crazy if you think about it. I'm down here, gimbal. But I would be lying if I said that I don't feel tired uh, a lot of times when I come back from a shift. They're, they're fairly long for the most part, and I can't really complain. Peds hasn't been that, that bad so far. When we're in the hospital, we're starting at 7 a.m. Usually today we started at 7.30 and it usually goes till about five. Sometimes we're on call up until midnight, but uh, yeah, I, I do get tired, definitely. Okay, so it's time for Anki. Got that all loaded up here. Coffee ready to go. After that, we'll do some peds modules and then probably wrap things up with about 15 or 20 pages from first aid for the USMLE. Where am I finding the motivation for this? Um, I don't know. Third year, final year, clerkship, all these things. The key that I found is to just grit your teeth, drink your coffee and power through it. Once you sit down for too long, you are not getting back up to keep working later on. So before I could change my mind, we're going to get started. So quick side note about the US MLE exam is that it is a very slow burn for me. Right now I'm planning to write it after my residency interviews and that's because there's really no time set aside for us to write this exam because it is an American exam. At the same time though, I have been able to talk to a few students that wrote the exam already, Canadian students, and they told me that it was actually pretty difficult. A few people that I talked to told me that they failed it at least once and I'd rather not have that happen to me. So uh, study a little bit as time goes on. I'm planning to start the, um, the, the question bank actually in November. So right now I'm gonna make it through this first, hopefully get about halfway through before I start the question bank. And then uh, right now it's looking like a March test date. Now the reason why I'm gonna write, I'll throw this in really quick, is not because I wanna do residency in the States, not because I want to practice in the States right now. Uh, it's more so because I think that, especially in going through this, there are topics that the American system covers that we don't like at all. And, and that's why it's pretty difficult for the most part for some Canadian medical schools. And I think that by learning this stuff, I'm just gonna be a better doctor at the end of this anyways. And then also, I feel like if the time comes when I need to be licensed to practice in the States for some reason, some career opportunity, I am not gonna to wanna to sit down for four or five months to study this stuff when I'm 35 or 40 years old. I'd rather just get it done now, get it out of the way, and then focus on more important stuff later on. So quick check-in, it is Thursday morning right now, and I am just getting ready for our Grand Rounds presentation. 
um, which is really nice because I don't have to go early in the morning to the hospital today. We could do it entirely from online. And I'm really excited for today's presentation because it is going to be about the COVID pandemic in children and the pediatric population. We're going to have specialists from a whole bunch of different fields, pediatric cardiology and a few other specialties too, talking about what they're seeing in the most recent research and, and trying to understand what's going on right now. Um, then after that, it's going to be a clinic day today. So I'm going to a pediatric clinic, which is going to be all day. And when I come home, I've got a three hour exam. So uh, yeah, not necessarily looking forward to that one either, but uh, it is what it is. <laughs> So quick little look inside clerkship and medical school for all of you. A lot of people think that, you know, the emergency room or surgery are some of the most chaotic rotations you could be a part of when everything's falling apart all the time. But in reality, it is your pediatrics rotation that is absolutely absurd when it comes to just how crazy it gets in there. You got kids running around all the time, throwing things and kids actively trying to pee on you and who doesn't want their needle. It is, uh, it is quite the experience being a medical student trying to work in pediatrics, but I love working with the babies. The little babies are my favorite, um, but there's that age of between like three and seven when it could really go any, any single way and, and all the ways at the same time. But uh, yeah, I'm exhausted after a shift like this. So let's go home, grab some coffee, write this exam. So just finished my exam, three hour exam today. And if you would have told me back in first year that at the end of medical school in our final year, we'd be doing online medical school exams, I never would have believed you. But uh, here we are, brand new setup. Uh, this is where I keep the Zoom call open so that they could watch you as you're writing the exam, make sure no one's cheating. And then here's where I actually did it. I think I killed this one. I'm very excited with my performance on it. I felt like, well, I really feel like that's like a central theme of third year for me. It really feels like everything's coming together. Now I have people that ask me what types of exams we do in third year. This one today was called the PPI. It's basically an exam that gets us ready for, or basically lets the school know that we are ready to write the licensing exam at the end of medical school. And on that note, I did want to show off the CARMS deadline. So the residency match is going to be opening for us. I'm going to be applying for residency and doing interviews and starting all that. The application opens on the 4th of October, which does not leave me with a lot of time. Um, so definitely something that I'm going to be thinking about too. And then I believe everything closes January 31st is the deadline for submission. So it's a really long process. You get all your references and everything together. You apply to on average, I think it's like 25 different programs, but I'll make a whole video for that at a later date residency matching and all that. Just tack on another thing that you got to keep in mind in your last year of medical school. All right, guys, and that is it. I am totally spent after this week. So tonight, I'm gonna to take tonight off, actually. Drive back home right now, go visit my family. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna to be driving up to the University of Ottawa to go and visit my brother, who is a medical student up there. This will be my first time on the campus, if they let me on campus. And I'm looking forward to it. The only downside is that the pediatrics exam is coming up in two weeks. And I have research stuff to do this weekend. And I have Anki and USMLE stuff. This vlog was supposed to be showing you guys, you know, a week in my life as a final year medical student. And I, I want to keep this going. I want to document my final year as best as I can. One thing that I always told myself and I, and I try to stick to it as best as I can is that I don't complain about medical school because I chose to be here. I worked really hard to get here. And now that I'm here, I don't want to complain about it. But I do want to share with you guys the reality of medical school and it gets to be pretty busy sometimes. The general feeling right now is two parts. Number one, I feel amazing because I feel like I've learned so much and all the work that you put in over the years really gets to shine in the last year. You get to show off what you know and you're still learning new stuff too, but there are so many final checkpoints now that when I get a good mark back on an exam, for example, it really just shows that all the work that I put in pays off and I, I really actually like that. The other side though is that I feel tired. I feel 
like it was a lot. You could really start to feel the strain on you. I think particularly with my experience, because we don't really get summers off. We did three years, the accelerated program, and that's kind of how I'm sitting right now. There's not much time to do other stuff is what I'm finding right now. I don't really know where I'm going with this. Feels like it's going in circles, but that has been my week in medical school in my final year. I hope my experience has shed some light for you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, if you have any questions about anything at all, go ahead, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, just know that for me, I love being here. Still, doesn't matter how crazy it's going to get. But uh, we'll see you guys all in the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Everyone take care.